what, what do I do? Why am I here? Um, so my name is Nico. I'm a 35 year old um, finance business partner. I live in Singapore originally from Finland. I've been li living abroad with my wife now for seven years, traveling across the world. So we've lived in, in Finland obviously. I've lived in, um, in the UK, in Singapore, done a lot of work all over the world. So uh, we are a bit of sort of travelers if you may. We enjoy traveling a lot as you've probably noticed from our or from my previous vlogs as well. I've been looking forward to, uh, to take you guys along to our travels as well. So basically fitness is one of my, one of my passions and I've, 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 I have gone through a really long 20, 20 to 24 week weight loss journey where I've lost 24 kilos of my weight. Currently maintaining that weight or a few kilos on top of that. I've been reversing, so re used reverse diet um, my, my way out of that hole for the past 24, 25 weeks or so. Currently eating well, feeling very, very good and strength levels are going up. Um, learning new things all the time and I hope you, you guys do enjoy uh, this journey towards a finer life indeed. So welcome along, I do hope you enjoy this video as well. Where have I actually been lately? Why have I not done any videos in a couple of months? Yeah, that's a good question. Sometimes just life comes in between you and your passion. So now it's time to get back on track. I, I, have, I did have to ask myself, why do I actually do these videos? Should I? You know, am I good enough? Who benefits from these? Me or someone else? Well, truth to be said, guys, I do hope that, that you would get something out of these. Some tips, some, you know, lessons learned or what whatnot. From the, from the experiences that I've had or from anything that I've studied or anything that I've experienced in, in life that, that would take me forward or what, what's caused me to fail in certain aspects as well. I, I, I see this as a way for me to give something to, uh, to everyone else out there on the grand scheme of YouTube, really. Um, as I do feel that, that this is something I, I, I truly want to do. So, hence we are back with these videos. We are back with, uh, with some life lessons if you may. This is Finer Life and I, know, I hope you enjoy the ride. Today what we're gonna do is a leg workout. So we have 5x5 five five at 130 kilos on leg, uh, sorry, squats, back squats uh, obviously, followed by some hypertrophy work as well. Later on during the day we shall head out to um, the Changi airport and onwards to London for a week's worth of business trip. Um, we'll be discussing about business, life, how to mix up uh, work and everything else uh, into into your life well enough for you to achieve your goals. So let's uh, let's see how that goes. So I'll see you guys in the gym. Inside the book that I wrote, are all the words that we spoke, yet yeah, only with our eyes. Now is the time to choose Somebody wins and some lose I can see through your disguise Lay it down, hope for something better Looking at the clouds, the silver in the weather You can't keep this up The lines are just too much Kick back, start another fire Looking at the clouds, making chips that you admire And you can't stop them now Cause you don't know how
guys, time for some blood flow restriction training. This has been absolutely one of the best additions so far I've done into my workout, so you, sh you guys should try it out for sure. Ridiculous doing butt for restriction training. It allows you to use lighter weights with less stress on your joints, less stress on your muscles, but get the same results as per normal workout. So guys, just strolling back home after a great workout. Um, hit there five by five at 130 kilos on back squat. Um, try to win for a, or try to try to go for a one rep max as well. Um, hit 155, which ties in together with my one rep max. So. That's all right. I was uh, hoping to go for 160, but clearly didn't have it today. Even though 130 feels really light um, all the time. Another action hit some, hit, hit some uh, blood flow restriction training, as I mentioned earlier on in the video. A very good addition to your, norm, your normal workout routine. So I really do recommend you guys trying that out um, as part of your workout routine, both for your upper body and lower body exercises as well. Tons of travels ahead. Um, tonight I'll be flying off to London for a week's worth of uh, finance conference. I'll be going back to Finland as well, potentially for next weekend, just to say, uh, or go and take a look at my family, how they're doing as well, as our family uh, faced some uh, some heavy burden recently. Um, so got it. Got to obviously take care of your loved ones. Family always comes first, whatever it is. So here we are just strolling back from the gym. What I do enjoy doing is basically walking back from the gym, sometimes even walking to the gym. It's about 2.5 kilometers, um, one point something miles. Um, so it, it, work, it works as a good uh, cool down or a warm up as well. Uh, hence it's quite nice to do uh, for sure. Um, as you don't need to uh, run on a treadmill and, and stare at the wall for a uh, for five or ten minutes it's much nicer actually to just walk around enjoy the sun enjoy the weather as well today is a nice day here in Singapore sun is shining the birds are singing and everything's well indeed so here we are So there you go guys, in, in and out from the check-in through the customs, or sorry, immigration, um, basically within two minutes, so that's <laughs> very good indeed, um, gotta enjoy this airport for sure. Uh, we'll be reading some book and uh, we'll be grabbing my melatonin um, supplements and hopefully sleep in a very very long time this time around Let's see if, I, if I'll catch a movie or not I'm not gonna eat anything before morning though as I've already gone slightly over my macros so uh, eating breakfast next uh, whatever that might be I've ordered the low calorie options in the in-flight meal so so obviously managing that side of things as well and it's good with some air, airlines, at least in Singapore Airlines, you have the option of, of ordering low-calorie versions or, or low-fat versions of 
the implied meals, which is very good indeed. It's not perfect every time, but at least they are made every. So do make sure you use that option whenever possible. I'll see you guys in London.